Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to give you a little heads up about section 1.7. Uh, this is where we're going to do something called fitty linear models to data. So this is the text example, uh, the text material from um, section 1.7. And really what it boils down to is we're going to have a bunch of data. They, uh, here, for example, example one, we've got this data chirps and temp based on um, the temperature and uh, the number of cricket chirps that happen in 15 seconds. And uh, anyway, we're going to get, we're going to plot this data. Well, we're not going to plot this data, but this data gets plotted. And then we're going to look for what's called a, a um, linear, we're going to do linear regression to find the best line that would fit through all this data. And of course, it's going to be an approximate. You're not going to get anything to be exact because clearly this does not, connecting these dots does not make a line, right? Okay, so we're just going to look for one that, that uh, is pretty good, right? Uh, there's a way to do this by hand, which we are not going to do. I wanted to show you how we could use Desmos to find this information, and it's going to give us it's going to give us uh, an equation of a line, and then once we have that that line, the equation of a line, we could use it, if need be, to find um, you know uh, to, to answer other questions, right? Like how how many chirps would there be if the temperature was What's a good example here? 70 degrees. You know, we could use this new line that we find to, uh, to help us figure that out. Okay, so you might need to use some of that idea in the um, wall map problems, in the, in the uh, problem sets. Okay, so anyway, here's how you do it. All right, so first off, we're going to take our data, and we need to put that into a table. So I've given you a link to desmos.com, and um, so click on that, on that link, and you get over to this page. Of course, it's going to look bigger than this. I've, squ I've squashed it down to fit my screen. All right, so over here, you yeah, could do number one, I guess, and then click the plus button. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter a table. So scroll down here to table, right? And we're going to put in X values and Y values for this data over here on the right, All right? Chirps are going to be the X values. Temperature is going to be the Y values. Right, so just put them in. So 44, and then arrow over to the Y, and that's 80.5. And then do that again, 35, and 70.5. And then what, 20.4 and 57. 33 and 66. 31 and 68. 35, 72, 18.5, and 52, 37, and what? 73.5, and one more, 26 chirps when there's a temperature of 53 degrees. Okay. Then click data number two. Now, notice there's nothing on our graph here, and that's because our scale uh, isn't big enough. So if you click on the, um, uh, you could go scrolling for it if you'd like, but if you click on the little group graph settings up here, you can change the y-axis, and we only care about, you know, we want to be bigger than zero, so that's fine. And notice the, the I'm sorry, this is the x-axis. Notice the x-values the highest it goes out to is what, 44? So I'm going to go out to 50. Right? And on the y axis, we'll go from 0 to what's the largest y value there? 80. So we'll go out to 90 just to see what happens. And then just click the screen. Oh, look, there's our, there are our points. All right? So let's put it down here a little bit. All right, now we can come in, zoom in a little bit. Whoops, I didn't mean to go in that far. All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna look. We're gonna, we're gonna have the the technology here find the uh, line of best fit. Is also what's called a linear regression. To do that, it's got to be entered in a certain way. So I'm showing you this. All right, so. First thing we're going to do is put Y and then the number 1, and it automatically defaults to that Y sub 1, 
right? Then we need to put the, the tilde sign. It's the sign that's next to the one. Looks like that, a little squiggly thing. And then we want to put the slope of our line, which is, we're going to say M1. Okay, and it defaults to that. And remember, it's y equals mx plus b. So this is y, approximately, m, and now put the x, put in x sub 1 as well, or x1, okay, and, and then plus b. And it gives us this line to go through here, right? That's all cool, that's great and everything, but it's this stuff down here that we're more interested in, all right? m1, your slope, has to be 1.14318, and your y-intercept is 30.2806. That is the information uh, that we need. That means y equals 1.14318 1 um, x plus 30.2806. That is the line that we're looking for. Now, if you look over here in your textbook, uh, they walk you through, a, you know, doing eyeballing it, uh, so they have you walk it through by hand to figure out the equation of the line. They get 30 plus 1.2c. That's cool. I mean, you're using specific points, right? But then if you keep scrolling down, they say fitting lines with technology. Okay, so here's, they don't really show you how it's done. They just said we're using technology to do it. And when you do it with technology, there's your line. T of C equals 30.28. 1, which is what we have for our B, plus 1.143C, which is what we have for our slope there. They're using the variable C and T instead of X and Y. But that is the same equation. That right there is, the, is what we're looking for. It's called the linear regression. And then once you have that, you can go find information. Like if you know what T of 30 is, you can plug the 30 in for the X value, and it tells you what the temperature needs to be uh, when there's 30 chirps every 15 seconds. Right, so that's pretty cool. I think that's very fast. Um, use the um, um, table method for entering in the data from your table, and then it's y1, the little tilde sign, which is on the key that's to the left of the number one, and then m1, x1 plus b, and then it will spit out the information, and you want what the slope and the y-intercept need to be to find the equation of your line. All right? All right, let's see how it goes. Uh, study well. Let me know if you have any questions.